No matter how thin you slice it, there will always be two sides. I for one have made a ceaseless effort not to ridicule, not to bewail, not to scorn human actions, but to endeavor to understand them. Peace is not the absence of war, it is a virtue, a state of mind, a disposition of benevolence, confidence, and justice. I call him free who is led solely by reason. The highest activity a human being can attain is learning for understanding, because to understand is to be free. We feel and know that we are eternal. Now whether this desire for sex is moderate or not, it is inevitably called lust. The idea which constitutes the actual being of the human mind is not simple, but compounded of a great number of ideas. I for one do not know how to teach philosophy without becoming a disturber of the peace. If you want the present to be different from the past, study the past. Everything excellent is as difficult as it is rare. A free man thinks of death least of all things, and his wisdom is a meditation not of death, but of life. Do not weep. Do not wax indignant. Understand. Be not astonished at new ideas, for it is well known to you that a thing does not therefore cease to be true, because it is not accepted by many. I have striven not to laugh at human actions, not to weep at them, nor to hate them, but to endeavor to understand them. All happiness or unhappiness solely depends upon the quality of the object to which we are attached by love. The object of the idea constituting the human mind is the body. The intellectual love of a thing consists in understanding its perfections. There is no hope unmingled with fear, and no fear unmingled with hope. In so far as the mind sees things in their eternal aspect, it participates in eternity. The endeavor to understand is the first and only basis of virtue. Emotion which is suffering ceases to be suffering as soon as we form a clear and precise picture of it. Remember, nothing in nature is random. A thing appears random only through the incompleteness of our knowledge. Better that right counsels be known to enemies than that the evil secrets of tyrants should be concealed from citizens. No to laugh, not to lament, not to detest, but to understand. Rarely do people live by the guidance of reason. Instead, we are generally disposed to envy and mutual dislike. Pride is a pleasure arising from a man's thinking too highly of himself. I saw that all the things I feared and which feared me had nothing good or bad in them save insofar as the mind was affected by them. There can be no hope without fear, and no fear without hope. In practical life we are compelled to follow what is most probable. In speculative thought we are compelled to follow truth. Will and intellect are one and the same thing. Happiness is not the reward of virtue, but is virtue itself. 
nor do we delight in happiness because we restrain from our lusts. But, on the contrary, because we delight in it, therefore we are able to restrain them. Please subscribe for daily motivational quotes.